Hey, how's it going? Well, as you can see, I've progressed a little bit more with the picture. What I thought I'd do when I was drawing this earlier, I was thinking about you while I was doing it and, and what I'd be using as far as pencils and stuff were concerned. So I thought, well, why not just video while I'm drawing? Um, yeah, I'll, you know, follow along. I'll just try to talk and let you know what I'm using. I'll show you my little setup. I've got a picture there on the computer. Drawing a light and makes you stand. So I'll just start going. Working on the head at the moment. Oh, what I'm using is, um, I don't know if you can see that, the 3H. I'm using 2B, HBE, H. This one here is a, a 4B, but it's getting really short, so as you can see, this is a, a like a pencil extender. You can buy them from the art shop for, you know, for a couple of dollars and make it a lot easier to use your pencil. You can use them right down. My little pencil eraser that's been sharpened into a point and just yeah, normal eraser. That's about all I'm using at the moment. Just trying to remember where I was now. I think I was filling in some of the head with a bit of dark colour. I don't know if you're going to see that really well. I can zoom it in a bit. Depends how grainy this is too. It looks like it's coming out a little bit grainy, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I do have a light I can use. I don't know how that's going to work. It's coming out a bit grey. Well, it's close up like that, but uh, that might be okay. Might be a bit sharper. Let's see how it looks on the final one. I think that's about where I got to. Sometimes I think when I start with the lighter colours, I like to just use a 3H or 2H, you know, just so I don't put something down too dark as I'm going along. And I'm not pressing very hard either, I'm just very lightly putting this on. It's only a little bit of shading there. Grab a HB and go a little bit darker through here. It's just where a bit of this meets that colour. So, as you probably know, it takes forever to do this kind of stuff, so just shading away. Sometimes it's hard to know what to put where, um, just do with what you think is right. If you notice how I'm holding my pencils, I generally tend to hold them at an angle so that the side of the pencils touching the paper rather than the tip. This is a 2B and I'm not using a great deal of force on it, just very lightly putting that texture on there. I can go a bit darker later but you can probably see the grain of the paper through there. I haven't you know, gone down and put it at an angle and pressed 
uh, really hard on it to damage the, to damage the paper. Uh, so if I get the razor on that, I'll be able to take that off really easily if I if I don't like it, or I can I can go darker. There's going to be a couple of spots later because you know the spots around here. And some, you can take some white pieces out if you can lift it off the paper. I was working on the nostril before. I stopped. But I'm not quite sure where I want with that. So I'm going back with the 3H just to get a bit of light colour in there. And I'm using this very lightly. I'm almost barely touching the paper with it. And the good thing about that is that if you um, use it very lightly, then you can get a bit darker and a bit darker and a bit darker again. It's all the same shade of pencil, but just you know, lighter or darker, rather than having to go to a, a darker pencil. Which, if you get a H pencil and a, a B pencil, like a H3, then a, a bit 2B, you know, then it's going to look very different because they're very different pencils. So, you know, if you're going to try to put tone down, you have to try to you know, get it looking you know, similar. And this is HB, so it's not going too dark yet. I just want it to look okay. I'm not sure how dark I actually want it. On the picture, you can see it's very black. But I can always go in and make that blacker later. Blacker. If that's a colour, I'm not sure. You can darken it to be darker later if you like. I am blending this picture, as you can probably see in places. I can go out with that one. I have blended pretty much everything, just lightly, blended all the way through here, just to try to get it nice and smooth. This paper's, you know, quite a bit, a bit rough. So I'm not sure how, you know, that's going to look. It's not perfectly smooth paper. I do have, you know, paper that's perfectly smooth. And I'd like to try it, but, you know, the effect is a lot more different. And the techniques are a bit different too. On the... On the picture, what I've used is I've used uh, 4B here. I know when I was in Adelaide that um, I said not to use a 4B. 2B is the only thing I can use, but um, you know, since I've been here, I had one in. I was doing the Dukes of Hazard to General Lee, and um, I was trying to get the grill area really dark with the 2B pencil and it wasn't working. Now I don't know whether it was the humidity that uh, reacted with the paper and made the you know, paper softer, but it wasn't taking the pencil as well. And of course to um, get that a bit darker, I pressed harder and dented the paper and kind of made a mess of it. But I had a, um, a 4B in my pencil case, just that little one there. So I use that, and it's actually worked quite well. And I don't have to press very hard you know, to get get the result as I would with a 2B pencil. So you know, I suggest to you that you know, it's probably a good idea to grab something like a 4B. I don't know if I'd go any darker because you know those waxy pencils have got more clay in them, and they tend to give off more shine. rather than something like the 2B or the 4B that doesn't have a lot of shine to it if you put it down really hard. What I'm doing now is basically the whole shark is a, is 
a shade of grey colour. I don't know if that's you know, very uh, evident in the picture, but what we've got here is, you know, this is your contrast, this is your black, and on the side of the mouth and around here is white, so everything else is in between that, so even though the skin of the shark is white there, it's not as white as that. So we have to put some sort of shading in and take the whiteness down so that everything else stands out where it should. So I'm just going through here and I'm lightly shading the whole area with a 3H. And I don't know whether this is a good idea to do it or not. Either to shade the whole area with 3H and go over the top with something a bit you know, heavier like a, a, a H or a 2B or a HB or something. Or whether it's just worth getting the HB out. This might be enough. I'll do it either way. You probably can't see on there, but um, it's coming out a little bit rough. It's getting really dim in here. I've probably left this a bit too late, but it's a lot rougher than the other. So, my blender, I've got my trusty blender, my tissue which I fold up and really lightly just work that just gently into the paper. I have to be mindful of the time that this is going for. Um, 15 minutes I think. So if I just blend that in really lightly so it's not too rough and there's no excess graphite sitting on the paper so when I come over with a, a heavier pencil it won't make too much difference but I do have to get darker through you know, this area and down beside the face I might have to go darker in here as well it's definitely a, a big transition between there and here and this is a H it's probably not too bad and sometimes you just have to play around figure out what's good for you when you do it <laughs> 